Hello my lovely people, welcome back. I want you to take a moment and pause the video right now and do me a favor. Are you ready? Great. If anybody's around you, pause the video and go ahead and give them a tight hug and tell them I value your relationship in my life. I want to thank you for being here. Thank you so much. Yeah, try that. And if you, if you don't want to hug, give them a handshake. If you don't want to give a handshake, just wave. Or if you don't want to do that as well, write a letter. Tell them I really value your relationship. Right? And if there is nobody around you, come, let's do a big tight hug. All right? Thank you. And I really value your relationship. I really value this communication that happens through YouTube. And I want to take a moment and thank you for being here, for your support and everything what you're doing for me. Thank you so much. And the reason why I made this video is to talk about an important fact of your life, visualization. Have you heard about visualization before? Maybe or may not be. I have never heard about the word visualization before I started reading self-help books. And it started with the book Magic, book Magic by Rhonda Bryan. And this book talks in detail about what it does, what visualization does for your dreams, your aspirations in your life. And later on, I've read a lot of other self-help books. I've read it on uh, Dare to Win or Secret or uh, Five A.M. Club or Monk Who Sold His Ferrari and a lot of every single nonfiction, every single self-help book has this particular portion of visualizing our dreams, visualizing our goals, visualizing of what do I really want out of life. What happens when you visualize is you give a color to your dream. You give the feeling, you, you feel the smell of what you really want. If it's a car, you know what kind of a car you want. You know what's the color, you know what's the steering type, you know what's the tire that you want to put, every single thing. That's what, that's what happens when you visualize your dream and you do it more often the moment when you wake up and you, and you want to sleep. And this process of visualization actually brings what you want and that will bring that material. I love the quote by Robin Sharma when he said, uh, everything happens twice, first in the mind, and then in the material world, in the physical world. So every invention that we have in the world is actually been replicated from their mind. Take it computers or take smartphones or the books that we read or the big buildings that we see. Everything is actually from their mind. They have visualized it. They know what is the structure. They know how it looks. They know the outcome exactly. And then when it comes to the outside world, that's, that serves the other purpose. So today I'm sure you might be working on something really big. You might be having a dream that, that's for you, that's for your family or for the society that you live or for the world itself. Go ahead and give the colors for the dream. Go ahead and give the feeling of how it looks like. If you really want to try it, you can take pictures. If you want uh, color pictures and put it in your front of the mirror, the moment when you wake up and you see your beautiful face in the mirror, see that picture and visualize that you already have it. And what it does is it will bring that to you. It will actually bring that to you. And it also reminds me of the quote of Rumi when he says, you are the universe of the ecstatic motion. That means that you have everything inside you. The whole universe is inside you. And through visualization, you bring it to the outside world. You give it to the outside world that serves the humanity. All right. And that's all I have for you in this video. Please give a thought about it and visualize your dreams every single day. Thank you. Bye for now. Be good and keep smiling, alright? See you tomorrow.